I'm building shutters right there and I'm gonna add a window box underneath. So come on, let's take you along and build these shutters. Shutters are something that anybody can do. All you have to do is measure your windows, get the right dimensions, and decide what kind of shutters you want. I decided on these simple board and batten shutters. So to construct these shutters, all I'm doing is taking three one by six boards and I am squaring them up at the end of the table so that I can see that they're square. Now these boards are warped, but I'll take care of that in a little bit. And then I'm going to take three smaller boards and they're going to go across at the top, the bottom, and the middle and hold the shutter together. As I said, all of these boards were warped, but nothing that some spacers and some clamps and some screws couldn't fix. And once I had these boards in position, I could take my measurements from the outside to the outside to uh, get my cross board that goes across. Cabinet clamp somewhere. I'm trying to get this middle in some so that the boards are even because this one board is so warped. I may need to put some more spacers so. on. Once I had the spacers in place, all I had to do is tighten the clamp and it pulled it next to the spacers. Then I could put my other boards on. I measured to the center of the board and determined where I wanted to place the middle board of the shutter. If I can get a good grab, it'll be okay. I'll go ahead and add some, some um, brad nails into it before I hang it up. Here, now I'm going to quickly putty the holes and then give it a quick paint job. It's pretty dry, but I solved the dryness problem with just a little bit of water and let it sit for a while. After the putty was dry, I gave it a quick brush off so that I could touch up the paint. So there you go. There's my shutter. It was very easy to build. It, it's not sitting straight right now, so, but they're very easy to build. And I'm gonna put one up. I'll put two of them up over by the window. So I'm going to build the other one and then we'll get them hung. This is day two of the shutter project and I'm going to get this finished so that I can get these shutters hung up. So all my boards, as you know, I cut them the other day. And now I have to measure up eight inches from the bottom, put my board on. I have got to show you this little lawnmower that I picked up at that auction site, iBig uh, FTA. And it is the neatest little thing. It's really narrow. It's probably, I don't know, it may not even be a 16 inch deck, but it's pretty small. It does, it's, it's actually 24 volt, two battery, two 24 volt batteries. And I cut the grass with it. It's very powerful. I mean, surprised me that it was so powerful for this little dinky tiny mower. Let me start it up and show you. So I have put my markings down on this table so that I know how far these boards have to go. They go at eight inches. So. Eight 
inches from the top. grass that was like eight inches <laughs> tall and it just it didn't even have a problem with it since the deck isn't very big the cutting area isn't very much you have to take a lot more walking but this thing weighs nothing and it's called a lawn master 48 volt Get this board on here. So that I have it in position. So here is the second one. It's finished. As soon as it dries, we'll go over and hang it up. And you can see that. The two shutters together. I just spent about a half hour putting this shutter together, putting in the holes and um, touching up the paint. The other shutter probably took the same amount of time. So you just have to, you know, cutting the boards, getting the measurements, deciding what your measurements are that you need for your windows. You can put, you can change these up any way you want. I'm also going to be building a window box, but I'm not going to be doing that today. And probably not in this video. I paid $43 for that mower. $43. You couldn't buy the batteries for, you couldn't buy one battery for that. But I paid $43 at that auction site. The shutters are hung and everything is up and touched up on the paint. Now I just need to build that window box so I can have some plants underneath the window. <laughs> 